At Grizzly Industrial, we love machinery and the projects that you get to create with them. So when our marketing department was asked to put together a team building exercise, we decided to take that quite literally and we got to cutting and grinding. So we set out to design this 10 foot long custom conference table with a unique Northwest theme, which if you don't know, Grizzly Industrial is actually headquartered in beautiful Bellingham, Washington. The table design incorporates a heavy steel base with an arch center support. And when I say heavy, I mean seriously heavy. For each step of this build, I was joined in the shop by an awesome team member who, under the crazy strain of being on camera while doing something common or maybe even not so common, they all did an amazing job. Our team here all stepped up to the task, whether it was cutting steel with a metal cutting bandsaw or doing weld prep with an angle grinder. Each person hopped into action. And along the way, we used a huge array of Grizzly products from our metal cutting bandsaw to the grinder, even the insanely versatile welding and fixturing table. All these products are available on grizzly.com and we'll link to them in the description below. Did I mention this base is ridiculously heavy duty? It has 3 16 inch wall steel, is fully TIG welded and ready for the most intense conferencing in our marketing department. And no Northwest theme table would be complete without a few beautiful and temperamental Douglas fir slabs. These matching 12 foot massive slabs were harvested locally and started out at three inches thick, which we soon began to whittle down to size. Big slabs need some big machinery, and we started by rough dimensioning with the always versatile track saw. Then we served up each piece on our huge sliding table saw for perfectly square edges. Next, it was on to a horizontal resaw bandsaw for a quick haircut off the top. And that produced a gorgeous finish to allow for a bit more track saw action and then final straight line ripping on our slider. And did I mention this is a team build? Because after a quick run through of operational safety and how to use the machines, our team members hopped in and took the reins, even on a massive slider like this. Oh, and a little sawdust is much appreciated in our marketing department. These massive slabs came out amazing and to keep them looking good and flat, it's vital to get some cross support installed to avoid cupping now that we've relieved a lot of the pressure that was in the slabs themselves when we brought it down to the two and a half inch final thickness. A few routed channels on the underside that span the width of each slab, followed by a heavy duty piece of C-channel with threaded inserts to anchor it, that should do the trick. Some days in the office are just a little bit different and a bit more dusty than others, but our team loves the challenge. All right, now it's time for the really pretty part. Off camera, I designed and fabricated a steel river spanning the full length of the table. The river is made from angled steel that is mitered on each corner and TIG welded together. Then I installed a full length steel insert that is tack welded into place. This shelf and the miters all needed to be watertight, so I ran a bead of clear silicone around every seam to prepare for the next step. That's right, it's epoxy pour time. A bit of plastic on the ground, a level work surface in some of our favorite deep pour epoxy, and we're ready for action. And what better color for a grizzly conference table than beautiful green? After some intense stirring and a classic pour, it was time to sit back and wait. Oh, and stir on occasion to make these gorgeous pigments really pop. The end result is one incredible effect and with the steel river wrapped around it and the table base sent off to a nice powder coat finish, it was time for a unique finish for this one of a kind table. This finish is a custom blend of white vinegar and 4 aught steel wool. It may sound a little bit weird, but Douglas fir is notorious for being hard to finish or at least to darken evenly with stains. So we went with a natural finish that takes the incredibly light color of the wood 
and oxidizes it, causing the color to change to a gray or even reddish tint. The coats were applied until we got the right darkness, and then it was off to six coats of catalyzed matte finish lacquer. This project was a huge success thanks to the hard work of each member of our marketing team who all stepped up and worked together to create something truly one of a kind. And at Grizzly, we work hard to bring you the machinery it takes to get the job done. So whether you're working solo on projects or as part of a team, we thank you for trusting Grizzly in your shop.